Okay, y'all, so this is what it looks like. I think this map is really the best. So you can see from New Hampshire all the way down to Miami, Florida. And they're saying these are the areas that got the heaviest buildings on the East Coast. And of course, the areas that you see in on this map, these are all the locations that are sinking. Mm -mm -mm. And, and this is Virginia in this area. So you can see Hampton, the Hampton Roads, Virginia Beach, and JFK International Airport. It's just showing you the red specks around there where, you know, they are showing signs of sinking. And wow, you look at Savannah and Charleston. It's really red there. And of course, um, Delaware. Yes, I've been to Delaware and they do have a lot of big, heavy buildings. And it goes all the way down to uh, Baltimore and through to Virginia. So you can see some of the critical areas on here. But I'm not surprised, y'all. You know, greed will do this every single time. So, for example, significant areas of critical infrastructure in New York, including JFK and LaGuardia airports and their runways, along with the railway system, are affected by subsidence rates exceeding two milliliters per year. September research by the National uh, Space Administration noted that the grounds around LaGuardia and U.S. Open's Arthur Ashe Stadium had fallen 3.7 and 4.6 milliliters per year between 2016 and 2023. A September viral video also captured a wild flood scene at LaGuardia as passengers um, were in ankle deep water. Yes, I did a video on that. Yeah, and it held all the flights back for I think like eight hours. They had to wait for the water to recede before flights could take off again. So Virginia Tech study warns that more than 1,400 miles of East Coast terrain is sinking at a rate of more than five milliliters annually. That's four more than the rate of global sea rise. Many of these areas have already been seeing an influx of issues relevant to the sinking, water is easier to flood with less resistance. By an increase of flooding plus intense storms and hurricane surges, all climate change models show the future that the storms and hurricanes will get more intense. Yeah, you, you definitely see that. I even see like this polar vortex that we're getting. Even that tends to be a lot more intense than it was even when I was a child. I remember these polar vortexes coming in, but now it seems like it definitely intensified. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. It seemed like all of the storms year round definitely have gotten stronger, no doubt. So that probably means stronger storm surges, higher storm surges, and that's more risk and loss protection for the city. So this week's Nor'easter, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are watching that which left uh, devastating floodwaters in coastal areas like Long Island in Connecticut is a clear-cut example of such worry. So they are also warning uh, that the area at risk 
is more broader and you know it's the immediate tri-state area long island staten island brooklyn queens the bronx you name it the hudson valley is all the way up to troy and wow I would say anything at a 20, an elevation 20 feet above sea level and below is at extreme risk. So the New York City, especially downtown Manhattan, will need to convert itself into a modern Venice within the next century so the streets will all be flooded the streets will all be flooded so if you want to keep skyscrapers and other buildings functioning they will need to become many islands that are standing in water hmm wow they will have to be serviced, not by taxis on wheels, but amphibian boats, barrages, uh, I'm sorry, barges, uh, will have to come and pick up the garbage. And we need more high lines that connect the various buildings with each other. So, mm. The Army Corps of Engineers is proposing a $52 billion series of seawalls to surround areas like Manhattan and the Meadowlands. Mm -mm -mm. The Meadowlands are in New Jersey. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. So they said this should be done sooner rather than later. We will run out of our means and ways to deal with those issues. Now, that's not happening tomorrow, but a few decades away. So they're saying that it could be any time leading up to 2100. It will get more serious. I don't know, y'all, but I do agree that, you know, the weight of these buildings is just too much and they're very close together and everything. Yeah. You know, y'all gonna have to tell me what you think and let me know if you're in the city and you notice the flooding has gotten worse. I do notice that around me, you know, when we have bad storms and and then they will show the flooded areas and some areas definitely flood worse than others. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.